Good morning everyone, this is your online coach Vertex Sensei and today pag-uusapan natin itong tungkol sa call center job. So ito yung madaling applyan eh. Uh, call center jobs in demand ngayon kaya ito yung madaling applyan ng mga fresh grads. At kahit anong kurso pwede dito. Kahit nursing graduate ka man, kahit education man yung course mo, business, IT, kahit ano pa yan pwede lahat dito. Uh, yung ibang ang companies tumatanggap ng mga high school graduates eh, Sa ngayon, meron na tayong senior high school So, senior high school graduates, pwede na yan sa ibang companies Pero yung ibang company talaga ay eh, stricto Kaya uh, tumatanggap sila ng mga high school, ang mga college graduates O di kaya college level And madalas, uh, alam na alam ko to Na madalas, pag fresh grad ka Pag gusto mo mag-apply sa call center uh, Yung pinapractice mo talaga ng gusto is yung pag-English Kasi sa mindset mo, call center, English yan. Initial interview, English yan. Final interview, English yan. Sa workplace, English yan. Kaya pinapractice mo ng gusto yung pag-English. Pero masasabi ko sa inyo, uh, kailangan ba talaga magaling ka mag-English sa call center? Hindi. Yun. Hindi. Kasi matututo ka doon. Yung kailangan mo lang is marunong ka sumagot sa interview. Ang problema lang, yung sa mga nag apply uh, masyado nila pinapractice yung sa interview questions. Pero meron silang nakaligtaan yung dalawang skills na dapat meron ka. Isa doon, typing. Kasi sa call center, one day process lang yan. Pagkatapos mo mag-initial interview, proceed ka na sa typing test room. Yung problema, ang galing mo ang sumagot sa interview, sa initial interview, punta ka na sa typing test room. Pag type mo doon, nanginginig yung kamay mo kasi ang lamig doon, tapos kinakabahan ka, di mo may pasa yung required nila na 25 words per minute. By the way, Pag nag-apply ka ng call center, uh, I'm not sure sa other companies, pero sa pinanggalingan ko, 25 words per minute, kailangan nila. Dapat makapag-type ka ng 25 words per minute para pumasa ka. So, yun yung problema. Kasi yung iba, uh, pinapractice nila yung pagsagot sa interview, pero hindi sila nag-practice ng typing. At isa pa is yung about sa uh, English proficiency test, yung grammar exam. So, dapat mong paghandaan rin yun. At pati yung versant exam. Pagandaan mo rin yun. At yun yung ituturo ko sa inyo sa mga susunod na video. For now, I'm just gonna uh, encourage you to practice typing. Okay? Typing using your uh, proper, the proper positioning of your fingers sa pagkatype. Kaya panoorin nyo itong video na to kasi kailangan nyo to. At maglalagay rin ako ng link dyan sa baba para meron kayong website na magamit para sa typing tutorial. Para ma-practice nyo. At yung website na typing test na siyang ginamit ng company na pinanggalingan ko. So, watch this. So, I hear you want to type like a pro. Let's start by setting up your finger positioning. Look at the F and J keys on your keyboard. Do you see the bumps on each key? Close your eyes and feel for the bumps using your two index fingers. Take your time, but don't look. Did you get it? Your index fingers should always find their way back to F and J by feeling for those bumps. Now curve your fingers and bring your other fingers down on the next three keys on either side. This is called the home row position. For example, to type the letter U, your right index finger will travel up one key and then quickly return to the bump on the J key. Okay, before we start, there is only one rule you must always follow. Never, ever look at the keyboard while typing. If you follow this rule, your index fingers will quickly learn to find their way home by feeling for the bumps. Fast typists forget about the keyboard and don't even realize their fingers are at work. They feel one with the computer. After some practice, you'll start feeling it too. The computer becomes a part of your body and your mind is in full control. Let's get started. So guys, ito na yung typing test na siya mismong ginagamit ng call center company na pinanggalingan ko. I'm not sure with other call center companies, pero yung company na pinanggalingan ko, ito talaga mismo yung ginamit nila for typing test. So kapag na-master mo to, uh, mas mataas yung chance na ipasa mo yung uh, typing test. So dito, meron siyang one minute yung time. So magta-type ka within one minute. At sometimes binabago nila ito into two minutes. At uh, iwas lang sa mali kasi yung mali mong words, ibabawas yan. Dito meron siyang uh, WPM or words per minute. Uh, tapos sa baba, meron siyang mistype words. Ibig sabihin yan, uh, yung mga malimong words, ibabawas doon sa mga tama mo. So, yun yung magiging score mo. Kunwari, meron kang uh, 30 words na tama. 
at may mali ka namang 6. So 30 minus 6, that's 24. So yung, yung score mo niyan is 24 words per minute. Eh, yung passing eh, yung passing speed is 25 words per minute. So, di ka papasa niyan. Kulang na lang ng isa, di ba? Papasa ka na. Yung iba naman, uh, pag yung score nila is nasa mga 20 plus, 21, 22, 23, 24, uh, bibigyan ka ng second chance na mag-test mag ulit. Kasi baka kinabahan ka lang, nanginginig ka lang, kaya bibigyan ka nila ng second chance na mag-type ulit para makuha yung 25 words per minute. At yung iba naman, yung score nila is 13, uh, 14, 15, na uh, wala lang chance yon Alam na, na di talaga marunong mag-type. So dito, pag nagsimula ka ng mag-type, uh, yung, uh, yung timer, magsisimula na rin niya mag-countdown. So kahit isang letra lang, uh, W, so magka-countdown na siya. So ingat lang talaga sa pag-type para iwas sa mali. Kaya i-master nyo to. Um, again, I'm not sure with other call center companies Pero yung company na pinanggalingan ko, ito talaga mismo Okay guys, subukan ko ngayong i-type ito Gamit yung proper positioning ng fingers ko At tignan natin kung ano yung maging resulta Let's go! Warm up your fingers by typing these uh, short test instructions The test text is shown in the upper part of the screen. Type it as quickly and accurately ah, as possible until the test time is up. The text you have typed is shown in the lower part of the screen. There, you can see if you have made any typing errors. Mm -hmm. You can use backspace to correct typing errors. Oh my. So, yung nakuha ko is 70 and so typing speed is 70 words per minute. And yung errors natin is uh, zero and yun, nakuha ko 70. So, uh, medyo okay na to, mabilis to, compared dun sa nung nag-apply pa ako sa call center. Kasi yung nakuha ko dun is mga 48 lang eh. So, yung sekreto talaga is yung proper positioning ng fingers mo. So, yun yung tip ko sa inyo. So guys, sana nakatulong tong video na to sa pag-apply nyo sa call center. At kung meron kayong mga questions dyan, just comment below at pagsisikapan ko masagot yan. And by the way, huwag nyo kalimutang magsuot ng long sleeve o di kaya sweater or jacket kung kayo mag-apply sa call center kasi napakalamig talaga na kanilang computer room kasi nga malakas yung aircon. And guys, sa next video natin, uh, ituturo ko sa inyo yung tungkol sa English Proficiency Test. At kung paano yun sagutin ng tama at yung iba pang mga bagay na dapat yung pakandaan. So, I will see you next time. See you in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.